Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Mishiras. Today I'm going to explain grammar unit 14 past continuous dates page 111 and 112. Before we start our subject, let's just make a quick revision about the previous lesson that we have object pronouns. Okay, what are object pronouns? We said that we can use them as the receiver of the action. How? The subject pronoun did an action, so we received the action from the subject pronoun. For example, Jane, which is the subject pronoun, gave an apple to I. Instead of saying I, I can change it into object pronoun that we say me. Another one, I gave an apple to her. Or I can say Jane. I gave an apple to Jane. So, another one, Alex bought lunch for you. We don't, we don't, we're not going to change anything because you is you. No problem with it. After that, the dog followed Max. So, Max is he. I can change it into him. Another one, the house belongs to them. Them was they, but we change it to them because we have object pronouns. After that, the teacher called we, but we have to change it into us. So the teacher called us. And I lost in the previous lesson, we, I gave you something and you have to finish it at home or you have to do it. So I did number one and number two and now you have to do number three and four. So the first one, uh, I can hear my brother, but I can't see because I'm talking about my brother, so I have to use him. I've got a problem. Please help I. Instead of saying I, I have to say me. I, you lost, so I am talking about with you, so at that time I have to use what? I live here. I can show you the way. Is that your coat? Coat, it's something which is... We have to use something. What is it? Please put it in the cupboard. Number five, please, can you get the tomatoes out of the fridge and wash? Because we have tomatoes more than one, so I have to use it or you or them. Because it's pr plural, so I have to use them. Another one, the last one, we want to make smoothies. Mom, can you help we? We have to change it into us. So, can you help us? And after that, it's page 105. Be careful of this. We have, sometime in the exam, we can give you sentences or sometime we can give you pictures and you have to depend on the picture to answer the questions. For example, we have me, them, her, or you. In the first picture, look at me. I've made a great smoothie. Okay, the second one, we have mom with her daughter and we have two children that they are playing. So, you can go and play with, we have two children, we can say they. So, I'm going to change it to them. Number three, we have dad with his son and they are doing something. So, the child said, can I help dad? So, I have to say, can I help you dad? Number four, we have mom and she's talking to his son and she's asking about something we have a little girl so where is your sister so sister is she i can't find her this was the exercise that i gave you and again it's page 105 okay after that we have our subject i'm sorry we have the previous one which was relative pronoun we use relative pronoun to join two sentences or join or connect two facts together. We had who, we use it with people, and we have which, we use it with animal or things. For example, this is the boy. Boy because related to people, so I'm going to use who, who dropped the milk. Another one. This is the cat. Cat is animal, so at that time I have to use which with drunk the milk. Okay, these was our subject for the previous lesson, and now we have a new subject, and it, we have past continuous. It's page one hundred eleven. So 
Why we have to use past continuous? We use it when we want to talk about an action that was in the past and it was progress in a certain time in the past. So, something that happened in the past and it was continuously without st stopping. So, here we have, we can use past continuous in the three different forms. We can use it as an affirmative or negative or question. The first one, we have affirmative. The rule that I can use it with affirmative for my subject is, we have subject pronoun, that's I, we, you, they, he, she, it. After that, we can use was or I can use were, depending on the situation or the subject. After that, I have this verb that I have to put ver ing on my verb. For example, let's give an example. I can say was when I have I, I was, he, he was, she was, or it was. Or I can use were when I have we, we were, you were, or they were. Okay, so after that, let's give some example to make it easier for example because i have i my subject is i i have to use was i was walk with ing i was walking slowly another one she was why was because i have she she was drawing another one he was traveling again i have to use was or when I have it, because I am talking about the cat, so at that time, it was drinking milk. So, but sometimes I have to use were when I have we. We were sleeping. Again, we have ing, be careful of the verb. Or they were making coffee. Or you were cooking. We have the subject and be careful of the verb. All the time you have to put ing on the verbs. So, after that, when I have a sentence and my sentence is negative, I have the same rule, but easily I can just put nt or not on was or were. So, I'm going to say wasn't or weren't and my sentence will be the same thing. For example, I'm going to use those sentences that we did it now again. We had it now. So, I was walking slowly. I just put NT and change it to I wasn't walking slowly. Another one, she wasn't drawing. He wasn't traveling. It wasn't drinking milk. We weren't sleeping and they weren't making coffee. Easily, we just put NT or not on was and were depending on the subject pronoun. Be careful of this. After that, I can change my sentences into question easily. I can put was and were at the beginning of my sentence and I'm gonna write down the sentence. But instead of putting full stop, I have to put question mark because we have question. So let's give an example. If I have a sentence like this, he was playing football, this is affirmative sentence, we don't have any problem with it. But this time I want to change it into question, at that time I have to put was at the beginning of the sentence and it will be like this. Was he playing football? You can say yes, you can say no, be careful. Because I asked by was, you have to answer by was, so yes he was. Or you can say, no, he wasn't. Another one. They were making dinner. If I want to change this one into question, I have to put where at the beginning of, a, of my sentence and I have to put question mark. So look at this one. Were they making dinner? Again, because I asked by where, I have to answer by where. Yes, they were. Or, if my sentence is no, so at that time I can't say, no, they weren't. So, this was our subject for past continuous. And after that, be careful. Sometime, when I want to put ing of the verb, we have a small trick that you can use it. 
Most of the verb can take ing easily. For example, cook, change it to cooking, no problem with it. Or, sometime I have to remove the last letter. When? When I have e. When my verb ended by e, so at that time I have to remove e and I'm going to write down ing. For example, write, change it to writing without e. And sometime when I have a verb and that verb, the last letter of my verb is ended by vowel after that consonant. Except w and y, we can't make them double. But the others, we can make them double. For example, I have travel. I have to make a l to be double. After that, I have to put ing. Or, I have swim. Look at swim, because it's only one syllable. I have to look at the, the verb. We have M. I'm going to put another M. And after that, I have to put ING. Swim, swimming. Okay. What are the vowel when I say we have vowel? For vowel, we have O, U, E, A, I. These are vowel. So, be careful of these Sometimes you have to make the last letter of the verb double. After that, you have to put ing. After that, I have another subject, which we call a date. And it's page 112. So, for this time, sometimes some people ask you about your birthday or you have to give a date. At that time, you have to... We use it when I say my the, the number of the month and the year speaking is different from writing be careful of this for example when someone asks me about something and i just say it is seventh of month sorry seventh of may so this is speaking i say seventh of may but when i want to write it down at that time i can't say this i have to write it down like this seven with th after that may this seventh we call it cardinal number, sorry, ordinal number. So, we have, when I want to talk about myself and I say, I was born, I was born, and I have to give the date and those things. So, sometimes I have to say, I was born, sometimes I have to say, we're born. So, when I have I, I'm going to say, I was born, or he was born, or she was born, or it was born. But sometimes I have to say we're born when I have we, we were born, you were born, and they were born. Okay, now let's give an example. My grandpa, because we have only one person, I have to use was born on 14th February 1952. No problem with this. But if I have two children for example the twins because we have two children at that time i have to say instead of saying was born i have to change it to were born on 21st april 1996 okay be careful sometime i have to use on sometime i have to use in how when i have a sentence Sometime on, sometime in. When I have a sentence, in my sentence, I give you the day and the month and the year. So at that time, I have to use on. What are the days of the week? We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday. But when I give you the date, so at that time, I have to give you the day and the month and the year. For example, on Monday, on 9th October. So here we have the, the day and we have the month. So at that time I have to use on. Or when I give you the day, the month and the year, again you have to use on. So all the time when I give you the day, put on. Okay? But when I give you only the month, or when I give you only the year, so at that time you have to use in. What are the months? We have 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and so the end. And the years, you know, any numbers, we can do it like a year. For example, in June, or in 2020, or in 2020, this are year and month, so at that time we can use in. Okay? So, let's give an example. I was born, look at the date, because I have the day, and I have the month, and I have the year, so at that time I'm not gonna say in. I have to put on. Why? Because it starts by day. So, on 1st October 1992, and it's my birthday on, the, on that day. Another one, when I give you only the month, or when I give you only the year, so at that time, shall I say on? No. At that time, I have to say in. So, they, because we have they, I'm not going to say was. I have to say were. So, they were born in 2011. Or they were born in, for example, March. So, because we have only the month or only the year, at that time you have to use in. But, when I have the day, month, or day, month, and the year, so at that time you have to use on. On and in are prepositions that help us to give the exact information for our subject. These are for our subject for today.